Miami Marlins hosting the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the Pirates are plus 135 on the money line. The Marlins are minus 160. The over-under is eight runs. The Pirates getting a run and a half are minus 160, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Marlins laying a run and a half are plus 135, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two runs. Now, mind you, these are the overnight odds, and these are the suspected pitchers for tomorrow. Now, a lot of things can change between now and then, but we're going based off of what it is here. Keller has pitched once against the Marlins. It was last year. Two innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 9-2. to two. Rogers pitched once against the Pirates last year. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They lost that game 8-7 to seven in 12 innings. Now, the Pirates are on a two-game winning streak. They are 16-27 and 27 on the road this year. The Marlins are on a one-game winning streak. They are 20-12 and 12 at home this year. They are 5-11 and 11 as a team with Rodgers on the mound. And the over is 8-6-2 and two in the games in which he's pitched in. Head-to-head, -head, the Pirates... Uh, Miami's on a one-game winning streak, but the Pirates are 6-4 and four against them in their past 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is 9-1 and one in their past 10 games. The last two games that they've played against each other have gone over. The over is 7-2-1. and one. That's what the casino sets it at. And ironically enough, the over 8 is also 7-2-1. and one. The, There have been five one-run games in their last 10 meetings, so half of the games have been decided by one run. Pittsburgh is 6-2 and two in their last game, eight games in Miami, and Pittsburgh is 5-2 and two in their last seven games against Miami. So this is another one of those series where a team is probably going to be an underdog every one of the games, and you could probably clean up if you, you know, have the courage to bet them. I'm going to take the Pirates with the money line, the Pirates with the runs, and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.